Hey guys, today we're going to learn how to use the gradient tool in Chroma. So I'm going to go ahead, you can use any shape you want. I'm going to go ahead and just do it on a letter so you can see how great it works on, on letters. I'm going to use a true type font. I'm typing the letter M. Let me make sure it's an artwork. All right, now we're good. Quickly resize it here. Now I am going to right click on this and I'm going to select convert to complex fill. You're going to be blown away how easy this is now. There are two ways to do gradients in Chroma. I'm going to show you both of them today. The first one, it's up here in the general options here, it's right here. So what this one does, it just converts whatever fill you have on your screen into a gradient. Right? The other one does a gradient on top of your fill. But this one, if you're gonna if you want to put a gradient on top of this one, I'm gonna go ahead and change this color to white first. And I'm going to hit copy and paste. The shortcut is Command C, Command V on a Mac. It's Control C, Control V on a PC. Or the shortcut, you can right click here and you can go to copy and then you know and then you hit paste. Or if you really want to go the extra super long way, you go up here, you get to edit and then copy and paste. But I went ahead and I did that already. And I'm, you see, I have it right here. There's two of them. Because remember, whenever you hit paste in Chroma, it puts it directly on top of the artwork you copied. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to hit balance decreasing as a gradient I want. And I'm going to hit apply. And I'm going to select it. You can see it there, it's white now. Let me change the color. See, it's pink now. So that's it. That's how easy it is to do a gradient in Chroma. Let me select this option. I'm going to show you the different options here first. I'm going to want to go over them with you because this isn't the only one. Like this one here is balanced decreasing and I'm going to select a balanced increasing and you got to hit apply and you see how it goes like this. Now we have concave and convex. You see how it's lighter here and then the darker color is here. And you could also change your, your options here with your density here and your overlap lines. I'm going to go to convex. So you, you have the gradient, it's in the middle now. And you have linear increasing and linear decreasing, which are similar to the first one I showed you, but it's more of a concentration of color here and then you have more options to adjust this later on in the density. Let me go ahead and delete that top layer here. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you the other way of doing the gradients. It's more manual and it has more options. So you go here to where it says blend, right? And you see this one, with this one, you could do up to three colors, right? It says second color, third color. That is a reference to adding the colors here because it will maintain this white background but I'm going to go ahead and select this one here and it'll give you an auto color. Usually what it does is it just, it'll just select for you the color that's closest to whatever color you have here. In this case, it's 19 and you see here. And if I were to go ahead and hit apply, it'll do it in black, but you can select your color here. It goes from one to 24 and these are the colors I have here. So I'm going to go ahead and select number 11. And I'm going to select uh, balance increasing like we did previously, and I'm going to hit apply. You see, and here we have more options. Like uh, the density, I'm going to set it at 0.40. You see how you, it makes it, you know, you, you play with these numbers and you get a different look for your gradient. And the same works for all of these. You hit apply. And it'll make them all different for you. And you can also change this here, the, your density here. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here because I like this option better. All right, now let me go ahead and uh, give this, uh, I'm gonna do another copy and paste here. Remember the shortcut, it's Command C, Command V, or that would be Control C, Control V on a, on a, on a PC. Now I'm going to right click and I'm going to convert it to a steel so we can have an outline here. And you can change the color of the outline wherever you want to your file, however you want it. 
and that's how easy it is to do gradients in chroma now i do have to mention that this is only available in chroma lux so if you enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe and hit the bell for future notifications and if you're interested in purchasing chroma head over to chromaembroidery.com